Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome to the Chatelaine Kitchen. Today we're making Chatelaine's Spaghetti Bolognese using Arctic Gardens Spaghetti Mix. So for this recipe you're going to need a large pot of water coming to a boil for your pasta. And then we're going to have a large saucepan over medium heat. So the first thing we're going to do is brown our sausage meat. So we're going to add two teaspoons of oil. And then here we have 500 grams of spicy Italian sausage that has been removed from the casing. So this is about four or five sausages. And we're gonna add it to our pan, breaking it up as we go. And you're gonna let this cook down until the sausage has become a nice golden brown color. So that's about four or five minutes. I have here four tomatoes that have been chopped. In terms of seasonings, I have one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons of dried thyme, a tablespoon of sugar, and we have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like it spicy, go ahead. If you don't, you can omit it. And we have two cups of the Arctic Gardens vegetables. This is the spaghetti mix that are gonna go right in. Now the great thing about these vegetables is they're all grown in Ontario and Quebec and they're picked at their prime and frozen immediately. So you're getting really high quality delicious vegetables even in the middle of winter. We're gonna let it cook down until your vegetables are tender. That's gonna take about three or four minutes. Okay, so as you can see, the steam is starting to come off of our sauce. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of chicken broth. You can also substitute this with milk if you'd prefer, if you like a bit of a creamier sauce. And we have a whole can of tomato paste. Make sure it's all combined. We're gonna let the sauce come gently to a boil, and then we're going to reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 15 minutes, uncovered. And while your sauce is simmering, is a good time to cook your pasta, omitting the salt. So our sauce has simmered, all the flavors have come together, and I'm simply gonna scoop some sauce right over the top. And if you have some fresh herbs on hand, you can garnish, here's some fresh oregano. And there you go, an easy recipe for spaghetti bolognese, perfect for any night of the week.